So today I just want to show you my secrets in keeping probably one of the best pools in the neighborhood. Number one, you have to have a good sweep. I like the Zodiac. The main reason, I had a Hayward and it had hundreds of parts that kept breaking. The Zodiac has one active part. The only problem I see with these sweeps is sometimes they spend too much time in the deep end and not enough in the shallow end. And so this video is going to show you uh, how to go ahead and use a piece of PVC to help that problem. Zodiac, real easy to fix. You just unscrew this piece here. This comes apart. Then you unscrew this piece here. And push this out. And then you just crack that off. And this is the piece, this is the only active piece. It's called the diaphragm. And very easy to replace. You just snap it back on. Look for cracks. So it, when it develops a crack, it stops sweeping. That's basically the whole thing. So uh, very easy. Recommend the Zodiac. I've never had problems with them. And then the other key, obviously, is getting a pool sweep that's going to completely cover the pool and not miss areas like stairs and walls that, uh, or the shallow end, like that deep corner right there is a real problematic area. But now with this PVC trick, you'll see how you can get your pool sweep to hit those areas. So we had a lot of wind last night and I left the cleaner on overnight. But when I come in, this is a typical thing. It's all belt balled up and cleaning the deep end while the shallow end continues to get uh, continues to be dirty. So what we need to do is figure out a solution for keeping the pool cleaner towards the middle of the pool rather than all the way at this end which has the skimmer. So what we're going to do is tie wrap a PVC pipe uh, starting here at the skimmer and going about one third down the pool. My pool is 36 feet. So I'm going to look for about a third of the way down. And this is the final end cap. That's pretty much it. So I straightened out the hose, laid the PVC next to it, and we're going to do put some tie, ties on it now. Might need two ties. So, and I'm going to grab the collar here and the cap. Clip this so it doesn't look uh, too ghetto. So this one I made nice and tight so that the hose and the PVC are locked together at that point. And then this one's kind of in the middle. Um, there's no real feature on the PVC, but uh, it's locked into a joint on the hose. This one I made a little bit looser to allow the hose to flex left and right and uh, conceptually get back to the skimmer end of the pool because you want the pool cleaner to cover everything. So the idea is, is that we're simulating the pool sweep being attached to in the middle of the pool rather than the very end of the pool, the deep section of the pool. See that turn around? It turned around because this hose is being held um, by our PVC stick from going back to the deep end. Uh, hopefully it won't always do that, but that's exactly what we wanted to happen. And it actually made it into the shallow end in record time. I just ran inside to get the camera because after like 30 minutes uh, since I put the PVC pipe on, the uh, pool sweep was already in the deepest corner of the pool. Excellent solution. And that's it. Ta-da! Now for the do-it-yourselfers. So in a previous video that you can look up, I have a chlorinator that I make out of a Coke bottle. The Coke bottles are important because of the bulb they have at the bottom. It's key to making a really good uh, chlorinator. So uh, look up my other video on uh, chlorinators. 
check that out. I'll put the, I'll put a link below. Just ask. What would Dad do? And they better ask him before it's too late.